What's up guys? Patty Flips here. So once a year we come to this beautiful location. So in my bag today I brought Proto 25 and you see how tiny it is? It barely takes any room at all and I just I love sending this long distances. So I still use a TBS Tango 2. It's just my favorite radio uh, but honestly I haven't tried anything else but yeah this one really works for pretty much anything. I just love how small it is and it's just easy for me to hold. And here's my goggles Integra Pro. I have a video on what I did to modify them. Basically, I changed out all the antennas to LHCP and it still works fantastic. But the point of the mod is you can change it to whatever you want to match the antenna you're using on your quad. So P25, this frame's already available on my website. This is just one of my favorite quads to fly because it's powerful and I can go long distances without worrying. And a lot of, a lot of people are enjoying it right now. So on P25, I have a bunch of items that are a must for micro long range, which is like medium range. So I have this Flyfish RC antenna here, so it's extra long and it goes into the O3 air unit, which is rated for up to 10 kilometers. I also have a nano GPS from Flywoo here and that helps bring it home in case I get in trouble. It's also handy because if you don't have a barometer, it tells you your altitude and your GPS coordinates and also how far away you are from home. A long antenna and this, and also a long RX antenna, even better if it's facing upward, those are a must have for long range. This quad is set up for performance, so definitely not that battery efficient, but I designed it so you could actually stick a 3000 mile Lion battery 4S on there, and it gives you at least 15 minutes of flight time, which is good enough for a 10 kilometer round trip. You know, I designed this to be very integrated, very compact, kind of like a ball and you can see the O3 air unit is just put in there in a mount where you could remove it quickly and it's got an LED light and underneath you can see the receiver that's tucked under there with the receiver antenna and the long VTX antenna up front. So the reason why we want a long VTX antenna is because you know when it returns back to you it's not blocked by the battery so you can see it at all angles. So, you know, maybe you're high up in the really five kilometers away, that antenna is always facing your goggles. You don't want to go behind anything. So, yeah, that's, this is my micro long range ripper. And show you guys what this thing can do diving down a mountain with this 200 gram battery. I mean, it's amazing. No one cares you're flying this. It's so tiny. It's the size of my hand. It won't even, I mean, it'll probably bash your eye in, but you know, I don't think you're going to hit anyone up there. But uh, yeah, you know, let's see how it goes.
after that amazing flight with this little fella, uh, right away I took the SD card out and backed it up. So I'm just gonna put it right into my laptop here because you just never know, my, my third flight here, I might lose it, you know? That's what I'm prepared for. You know, this is FPV life, right? Yeah, I was like really pushing this hard. I was trying to go faster because I want the footage to be exciting. And I try to go low as well without losing signal. So, you know, that's, that's kind of the ideas of, for me to get really nice cinematic footage. 